Hey guys, so I'm a terrible liar. Um, did not actually go back to Firelink because I don't remember if I can teleport to that uh, bonfire or not. And if I don't remember if I can teleport to it, then I am not gonna run all the way back. So we can take care of that fire that uh, firekeeper's soul next time we're in Firelink. Uh, for right now, oops. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> For right now, we're going to cross through this and head into the Crystal Caverns. And before we do that, though, we've got some... Just walk right off the edge. There's a ladder right there. You don't have to do what I just did. This area is full of golems. Um, I feel like at this point... Let's find out. Ow. Eh, I'm going to kill them all once. Just ow. Listen. Wrath of the Gods of this batch over here. And that one went down after two swings. Blue chunk. Which really doesn't sound like it's something you want to have happen. Let's see if I can pull this off. And wham! Oh! That didn't hurt too much, did it? Gold one is our next target. I think that hit the tree. Oh, is he stuck? He's stuck, poor guy. And now he's dead, and... He's sort of Onion Bro, except he's not Onion Bro. You who rescued me. Why, thank you. I am Zeeglund of Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. So this is Sig Meyer's oh, daughter. My father. You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armor just like mine. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now I shall just stay put and keep out of trouble. Not super likely, hon. Thank goodness. Well then, I'll... Alright. So, we're gonna go take this one out. And then we're gonna re... Set everything at the bonfire, and then we'll go after Seath. Kind of hoping I was going to get enough to get me a level, and it doesn't quite look like it. Crystal set. Oh, right. I was going to look and see if the Channeler's robe... Channeler's robe is probably too heavy. 10.1... It's going to be quite a lot heavier than what I've got on. Yeah. Um, we'll leave it alone. I like the look of the witch set. Actually, three more. I might end up getting enough to level. Four more, actually. There's one back in the woods there. main reason to come back through here is to find Siegland. Or, well, the main reason to deal with this mess beyond just running straight to the Crystal Caverns. 
is Siegland. And now we've made a nice big circle. If you want to use this for farming, obviously you can. Ow. But I think that is enough to get me a level, so we'll go back and do that. And then off to the bad place. Use the bonfire and then I forget to use the bonfire. Uh, faith to 33. Not making a huge lot of difference except it's going to pump up my spells a little bit. It doesn't really affect much else. Um, and really at this point my stats are basically fine. So Alright, so this time we're not going to kill the golems if they've even respawned. I'm not 100% sure that they do. I know the gold one won't. Well, no, I know they don't because I've farmed through this area before. So, no, they definitely don't come back. Or they, def they definitely do come back, whatever. English is not my first language. I just wish I knew what was. So, crystal caverns. They suck. You knew I was going to say that, right? They're pretty, but they suck. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of rush through here because I really don't want to... Ow! God! Oh, God. No, 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 no. This is not what we're doing, people. Oh, you all chased me? Okay. <laughs> like I said, they suck. Can we fight in the right direction, please? Whack, whack, whack. All right. Sieglin, you will notice, is no longer standing over there. I'm going to go ahead and take these crap weasels out. Don't feel like getting chased again. Come on! Before we even get to the crap zone. Okay, so what you need to realize about this area, and again, I think my plan is just going to be to get through it. Um, this area has all kinds of 
invisible bridges. So if you happen to see the snowflakes, and see how those snowflakes look like they're just landing nowhere? Yeah. That's because that's what they're doing. Got myself a humanity. So there's some places where you're going to slip and slide. Um, there's some butterflies. And there's lots of just invisible paths. Um, I'm not dealing with anything in here. I'm going to do my best to just kill Seath and get out. Uh, actually... Let's see if I can hit this guy from here. And it looks like I'm hitting him, but it doesn't look like I'm doing any good, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, again, you can see the snowflakes, and you can also see the symbol just kind of floating in the middle. Um, just walk straight. Walk straight a little faster, because he's going to... Oh, God, he's going to hit hard. I hate this area. I hate it. I know I said that already. <laughs> Crystal Caves might be my least favorite part in the entire game. So we're going to find even another way to go down. We're going to take this guy out. Oh my god! Him first. So now he can't come lumbering out of the trees at us. Then this one. It's another reason to have farmed up just a little bit and... Um, you know, dropped off my souls because, you know, you're gonna die a couple of times going through this area, especially your first time. There's just no way around it. Um, so it's best if you go in with a number of souls that losing them isn't a crisis. So I strongly recommend, you know, run around in some circles, burn off whatever you've got, get a level before you try and deal with this mess. This is the smart way to deal with him, is to back off, let him jump, and then kill him. So, that's how that looks when you do it right. So, back down this way. Um, doesn't actually really matter which way you go. shoot him from up here. I can. Probably can't actually poison him, but... If I can trap him... I'm pretty sure this one is not going to turn into any of Sigmire's relatives. Um... And I'm pretty sure he stays dead, so... The Moonlight Butterflies are not going to bother you, by the way, so there's no real reason to mess with them. It's 
suppose I could get a little bit closer, but I don't want him to figure out how to get around that little outcropping there that he's stuck on. Uh-oh. Alright, he's down. He didn't even drop anything for me, the jerk. Alright, so anyway, um, walk, line up, and conveniently I've left my souls as something to walk toward. This is slippery, so I'm going to kind of just hope I don't fall. Stay up toward the top, if I remember right. Keep running that way, there we go. Um, from here... Another one of these crap weasels. I can't target him from here. That's annoying. Oh, uh, let's see. I think actually I can go around to the back of this, maybe? So I'm just going to go ahead and drop down onto that. Oh right, this is another path, okay. Um, if you aren't 100% sure where to go, and if watching the snowflakes doesn't quite help, there's a reason they gave you 20 prism stones. Um, you can use the 20 prism stones, you can toss them anytime you want, and they will give you a general idea. You know, you'll toss one right at your feet, basically, and that'll give you an idea of whether where you're walking has a path or not. So we're just going to go straight across here, and... We are absolutely passing up some goodies. Um, and come over here and get that. That one I can grab without too much drama. But I just, I hate it here and I want out, so. Hopefully I can make it past these guys. These guys can be a pain. Um, this next area is full of giant crabs. I think there's something over here too, if I remember right. Oh god, they hit hard. Jesus Christ. Now, Seath can kill the crabs for you. Um, I find it not a good idea to risk it. They're pretty when they open. But if you bring him, if you run in with a bunch of them following you, he will kill them eventually, but yeah, it's just not worth it. Oh, God. You don't want to let him hit you with that scoop move. That's, that's the bad one. No! See how they feel about lightning? Oh, they don't like lightning. Oh, not that way. It's the wrong way. Everybody calm down. All right. 
Nobody dropped anything. I feel like somebody should have dropped something. And now through here is our buddy Seath, the scaleless. Um, you can try and cut Seath's tail off. You get the Moonlight, the Moonlight Great Sword, which is a fantastic weapon if you're a caster. Um, it's not going to be super useful for me. And I may not worry too much about cutting his tail off. We'll see. I'm genuinely not sure how bad this fight's going to be. I know I don't want to have to come back here, so I'm hoping I take him down first try. Seath has three tails. The one that you need to cut off is the middle one. But first, run and hide back here behind his little magical thing, the Whipper. And... I'm actually going to let him destroy his thing, the Whipper. And we're going to head for that tail. Come on. Um, if you get stuck in the things, run away as fast as you can because they inflict curse, which is not something you want. I don't think I'm going to get his tail killed. Didn't cut his tail off, didn't get the Moonlight Greatsword. Don't care. <laughs> don't care, don't care, don't care. Light the bonfire. Take a quick second to look around. And now we're going to head back to Firelink again. Never, ever to return. And here is Lady Sig, whatever her name is. I've seen him. Leveling and next we are gonna go ahead and head for another area that we kind of ignored before. Um, Duke's archives. We're gonna go to Dark Moon Tomb again. I think so. We got five minutes, so we'll go ahead and get started on this next area. Nope, wrong one, that's in Orlando. Um It's not Daughter of Chaos. Looking for the one that's underneath Blight Town. Actually we can go to Daughter of Chaos, it's close enough. Might actually be the closest one. So, and I gotta keep, I gotta quit forgetting. I should have used the, uh, 
Firekeeper's soul when I was back there, and I didn't. So from here, we want to go not toward the fire area. We want to go back toward Lower Blight Town, which is up here. This is where Quaylog was. And we're poisoned, and we don't care. Oh, and you know what? We need to put a ring on. Not the sun's firstborn, we want rusted iron. Alright. The bonfire go. Oh, I'm still all the way over here. Okay, I'm farther over than I thought. Kill you. Kill you. Gonna go ahead and hit the bonfire here just to. Get ourselves locked in. Head further this way. And this is where we're going up here, up to the tree. We've been here before. This was invisible. He had to whack it to get through, and then this chest, and there was an invisible wall behind that, and you had to whack that one. And now we are in the Great Hollow, and there's another bonfire up here. And at this point, we're at 28 minutes. We gotta go all the way down this to Ash Lake, which is way down at the bottom. Um, there's crystal lizards everywhere. There's goodies in a few different places. The Chlorinthy Ring is hidden in here. I don't think we're worrying about any of that crap. We're just gonna go straight down and get to the next area, and then we will be done with this. Um, so we're going to call this an episode right now. Just like always, if you're having fun, leave a like, leave a subscribe, tell everybody you know. I will see you soon with more.